All right, let's do it. We about to knock out some topics this morning. You know what I'm saying? We about to knock out some topics. All you have to do is stay. What's happening, everybody? Lockout men back in the building. What's going on with you guys? How y'all feel today? Well, right now, you guys are wondering, what the fuck, Lockout? Why are you in the same shirt? Well, I'm going to tell you why I'm in the same shirt. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been rocking out so hard with, with, with content for you guys. The live streams, the regular videos, and other stuff like that, man. I like to get all of the stuff out at the same time. Like, I, I record stuff, like, all at the same time, all, at, all in the day, and all like that. And then what I do, I break it into pieces, and I spread it all apart. Like, for example, I, I did this before I did another live stream and I did that before another live stream. So you guys, you know, you guys can see me, but believe you and me, I do smell good and I do look good. And if I'm not around, if I'm not around the truck stop to get that good, good uh, shower in, believe you and me, I do get that good wash up in. Baby wipes is always on deck, you know what I'm saying? And always get a chance to, you know, stop off very quick and, and wash up and brush the teeth and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got I, I to gotta look good for my people out there, and I got to look good for the company that I represent when I go in and talk to these shippers and receivers. They do not want to talk to a smelly-ass, smelly-ass, breath-having brother that don't take care of his freaking hygiene. I'm just telling you. So that's, that's what's up. Uh, and besides... I like this shirt. I like this. This is one of the salute the the salute the service. I got three of them. I got the jersey. I got the t-shirt. I got the hat. I got the scully, and I got a uh, and I got a hoodie. <laughs> so I, I got I got all of them, man. So I I just like this. You know, it's so comfortable. My name is Lockout Men, and this is the Lockout Men Podcast Show. I'm glad that you guys could join me today. In this episode of the podcast, we're going to talk about driver privacy. We're going to get that out the way. We're going to get that out the way. I, I just, well, before we get into all of that, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I go live, and that all button lets you know when I drop videos make sure you hit the bell and the all button at the same time so that you let youtube know that you want all of the content that you got don't just hit that subscribe button because if you do you're just telling youtube hey we'll drop his video or his live feed to you whenever we feel like it let youtube know that you want this content uh, if you like, again, if you like content like this and you want to support the channel, you can do so by joining the joining the LOM community. Three tiers, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm new to this membership thing, so you guys got to bear with me while I'm, I'm walking through on how to do it and what type of con more content for my members that I will bring to them. Because everything that I'm doing now, that I'm doing now, that I'm bringing to you now, is pretty much everything that I will bring to you. You know, I just think that you guys just want me to want to continue me doing extra stuff for you. Let me know. Let me know. Um, I, I can give you guys some exclusives. Uh, maybe we can do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation. However you want me to do it, I don't know, but I, I, I'll fig I'll figure it out along the way. How's that? Would that would that work for you? That work for you? Uh, if you also want to support the channel and support me as well, the coffee app and the cash app is in the description below. Uh, cash app dollar sign lockout men. No, I like that. You really don't need to see that going across my banner no more and all like that because the people that's in the know already know. That's what I'm saying. Content like this. Um, 
why why do I do content like this? Um, I do it because you know I, I I really wish that there was somebody back in the day that was there for me going through life. You you absorb a lot of information and that information is just ready to come out now i get some people say hey the, the information that i got i just feel that it's valuable and i get you for that if your information is valuable and you feel that it's it's worth something then definitely you know definitely do your information the way you want to do it and I, I i i don't fault nobody for doing it and i don't trip out on anybody that's doing it and if you feel that you've been in a, in any game in any game whether it's trucking fast food entrepreneurship or anything like that because we all had we we all had to grind we all had to grind a lot of people just don't want to tell you information because they feel that you're trying to step in on their on their turf on their path on their on on their shit that they that they thought that they already had claimed on all right story time here we go story time y'all so check it out check it out back in the day Back in the day, you know, I, you know, I should get that, that, that flashback, that flashback thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we should have had that. But check it out. Back in the day, man, you know, up and coming lockout men. His name was G Style back in the day. G Style was, you know, the letter G is the first letter of my name. And, and style is how I presented myself in, in whatever I was doing. So G Style back in the day. I, I had many different hustles when I was coming up. I didn't like working in a factory. I didn't like working around people. I, I, I didn't like being told what to do. You know, and it was just, you know, I, I, it was just dreams of entrepreneurship throughout the years that I, I, I wanted to achieve. And I had I had get rich quit schemes. I had I, I had schemes to try to make money fast and all like that. But come to know that everything takes er, everything takes time. Everything takes focus and everything takes patience. It takes patience to get there. I know a lot of people don't have patience, but they want to get there in order to, you know, do what they want to do. So back in the day, I, I had many different hustles. And one of those hustles was starting my own business, which I did. I did G style music and video back in the day I, I went it was a whole bunch of stores that was in the neighborhood that i would go to shout out to a and e music uh mo's music d uh drc uh two live music up in akron uh nikki's music over there on um on kinsman or i'm not sure if that yeah that's kinsman so i would go into these different uh, stores and you know I would I would try to you know try to pick their brains on like where they get their product uh, you know how to structure a music store and all like that and I just wouldn't get no answer a lot of guys there just felt that you know me coming in uh, asking questions about you know how they start up their business was kind of like infringing on 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 their on on their street you know you you know how it is when you when you see a black owned store across the street and then all of a sudden you see another uh like an arab store that's coming in that's trying to out try to outdo you and all like that that's what some of these people that's what some of these people mindset is at they just feel like you coming in and you getting information and then you try to outdo them it's not about trying to outdo it's about trying to get give what the customer want at a good at a good service maybe maybe competitive prices at the time the competitive prices for a cd was 16.99 all right drc he was selling his cds for like half that cost you know try to get a foothold on the, on, on the area now when i got over to kermit shout out to kermit and drc he was like the distributor of all of the of all of the uh music stores that was in the area everybody was going there so we was we was getting the cds at wholesale prices from him 
while at the same time he was selling CDs for less than what we were selling them for. He would charge us like maybe $12 a pop for a CD. And in order to make a little bit of profit off of that, we would have to sell the CD for like $15.99 or $16.99. We could not compete with him at his prices. What he told me, or all the information that he told me, I took it and ran with it. And, and turned out I had a, two successful stores. Uh, I did break away from him. I did break away from him because while learning everything that he was teaching me, I learned more on my own and I found out I found out where he was getting the product from and stuff like that. It's the same thing in trucking. You know, you got you got information from one person and all like that, and you just trying to feel try to feel what they're saying and then you just break off. That's all. You just break off, man. So when you break off into your own and you start doing, you know, you start doing stuff on your own, of course, it's going to be hard and uh, not, a, not a lot of people is going to want to help you out. And maybe some people will. And then maybe some people just want to charge. But it's all up to you whether or not you feel that the information that you get from those people is valuable to you, if I make any sense. It may be valuable to them because that's why they doing it that way but you got to make sure that it's valuable to you uh with that said let's uh, let's talk about driver pro uh driver privacy right quick so i came across this video that i've seen uh that i was watching and the young lady was uh telling everybody about how she feels that people are a little bit too open on social media like literally too open like for those vloggers for those trucking for those trucking vloggers and all like that they be vlogging everywhere that they go everywhere that they do they show the inside of their trucks they do the truck tours and all like that and uh and you know you you, you pretty much giving out your privacy so let's say, for example, you're a female trucker, right? And you, you're a female vlogger. And then all of a sudden you want to, you know, you, you come on and you tell, you know, you tell the people who you stream to on Facebook, stream to on YouTube and all like that. Hey, y'all, I'm on my way over to such and such trucking, I mean, truck stop and all like that. And yada, yada, yada. Then I'm over here. Then I'm over here. Then I'm over here and all like that. Well, sometimes giving out too much information about where you at. <laughs> especially if you're a female and you're you're a fine female at that then you know you 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 probably might have internet stalkers they're gonna know where you at like oh okay well she's over at a pilot over there off of such and such let me see if i can run over there and run up on her and all like that now a lot of you females out here don't like run-ups a lot of time a dude try to run up on you and all like that you give him the evil eye and all like that and then all of a sudden it just goes left you know but i guess i just felt if you hadn't gave him you know that information too much information about you i i don't think that you would that you would have that privacy you know what i'm saying privacy like when you're revealing too much about you don't don't reveal too much about you try to keep a little bit you know try to keep a little bit of that to the chest it just try to work just a little bit say like for example not not now i'm not just using this as a truck or something like that but if you're a female that's out walking let's say let's say you're you're going to work every day and you're vlogging where you work well you are vlogging the path that you're taking the route that you're taking well i'm leaving my house right now and i'm walking down fifth street or whatever whatever then i'm taking the subway and then i'm walking into the door of my uh of my job and and this is where i work this is the cubicle this is john over there and all like that you're giving information potent potent is that a word that's giving information that's potent away to somebody that might not have the best interest for you do that make any sense that makes that makes sense this is the same thing for a truck driver if you 
if you leave your truck and you vlog what truck stop you're at, females, if you vlog what truck stop you're at or whatever, whatever, you know, you giving that information that maybe somebody might not be, uh, that might not have the best interest for you. So try to keep some of that to the chest, ladies. You try to keep some of that to that chest. I got a tip for you. Like, if you're if you're if you're a trucking entrepreneur or entrepreneur period, have your business emails separated from your personal emails. And let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because you, your personal emails, you probably have an email like she loves it doc, uh, at gmail.com or or I am too much at gmail.com or or he loves me at gmail.com. That that don't go over well trying to be, you know, trying to show professionality. Uh you, let's say you're trying to get some information. <clears throat> Let's say you're trying to get uh trying to get this contract with this big trucking company and all like that, and all of a sudden they see an email from he loves me at gmail.com. That's not a good look, people. That's not a good look. You want to separate your email, your your personal email from your business email. When you do a business, whether it's trucking or any other business that you want, you want to put it in the business email name now if your now if your business name is he loves trucking or she loves trucking or bit booty trucking or or such and such trucking then if that's it then yeah i you you might want to you might want to switch it up a little bit you know and and add a little bit something else at the end of it like an llc or whatever whatever but if your personal email is Yo, I I I suck such and such dot com uh, at gmail dot com. Then a lot of businesses that you want to do business with, it's not going to take you serious. So separate your personal email from your business email. You also would keep down the rhetoric as well because if you send if you give your personal email out and if you put it out in the world, then you're going to start getting all sorts of spam all sorts of bullshit because in my in, in my lockout men and I, I i got like i got like five six seven eight different emails the main two emails that i use is my lockout men for my personal email and then lockout men podcasts for the podcast and then i got my ers email for my uh for my roadside business but in my personal email boy I mean, when I gave that out, when I started, you know, letting people know how they can get in contact with me, man, oh man, I start getting emails from bullshit like, hey, you want to have a good time tonight? Or, hey, you know, I, I big booty Jenny and all like that. I'm like, man, the, uh, and you try to, you know, you trying to unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Somebody let me know in the comments if there's an easy way to unsubscribe to all that bullshit. Let me know, man. That's why you want to separate your personal email from your business email. And make sure that your business email comes off real professional. Make sure you have a header. Make sure you have a subject. Make sure down at the bottom, because I know Google lets you default, like, you know, your name, name of the company, uh, phone number. You, well, you already got the email because they already sent, but it's always good to put an email. And other thing, and a little bit something about the company in, in, in the little in the little uh in the little what's your name box at the bottom and you could go and do that as a default as far as getting the youtube channel together let's let's talk about that ladies and gentlemen you want to you want to get you want to start your own youtube page and all like that for sure you you get into you get into any type of business whether it's trucking whether it's personal whether it's uh whatever entrepreneurship that you go on youtube is a good way uh it is social media it is a good way to you know get your stuff out there into the world but let me tell you this let me tell you this first thing first do not when you start a youtube page do not do it for the money do it because you like doing it do it because you want the information that you got 
about your company out there. You know what I'm saying? People will start to gravitate to it. You definitely, in the beginning with YouTube, you definitely going to have to do a lot of promotion because a lot of people, you know, with these YouTube streets and NDCs, it's a lot of people out here in YouTube that's, YouTube is so congested right now. You got to like find a niche in order to like, like slice in and squeeze through with so many people on YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine next to Google. And that's why Google owns YouTube because it's the second largest uh, search engine. But you also gotta understand this about YouTube too. YouTube is about a bunch of bullshit. I'm, I'm here to tell you. You gotta get about 4,000 watch hours. And that's and that's going to take a long time, depending on what type of le uh, what type of niche that you're doing. If you're a female with big boobs or something like that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Let, let me rewind that. If you a female that's coming into the game, uh, that that's coming into the game, whether it's trucking or anything of that matter, and you're a nice looking female with nice features and all like that, just know that you might be able to cut that YouTube, uh, squeeze into that YouTube lane because you know, you're a hot looking female, you're a hot looking, uh, you, you know, you got your commodities that's looking real good, looking real tight. So you might generate more of a following than what you anticipate on doing. Is that is that good enough? That's good enough. I, I I think that's good enough. Once you get a once you get a following and all like that, then you can start, you know, monetizing your videos, and then you can start making a little bit of extra money from YouTube. And I I emphasize the word extra. Okay, because that's all it is. You're not going to be making these YouTube books unless you have the high subscribers and you have the high watch, you know, had the high watch time and all like that. What I would suggest that you do, you know, a lot of people are saying not to do is with with social media being the way that it is right now with this pandemic, everybody's being at home, everybody's doing podcast style videos, everybody's doing uh doing, you know, videos and all like that. Try to do live stream. Why live stream lockout? Because in the beginning I didn't like it. I, I didn't I didn't fuck with it. I I didn't fuck with live stream. I, I felt I felt I couldn't reach my audience when I went live. I, I will only get like one or two people in there. And that would and that would irritate me back in the day. It irritated me because I just felt like that I was just talking to air and nobody wasn't listening. When I started researching live stream, I started to know I started to notice that it's not about how many people that you that's watching because there's people that comes in and out of your live streams at, a, at all, I mean, all throughout the stream. So let's say if you stay on there for like a half an hour or 45 minutes or an hour or more, and you and the, and the live stream ticker up at the top says uh, five people. Well, just know at the end of the stream, it might've been 50 people watching. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's, it's mind blowing that it's like that. Say like you got a hundred people watching. Well, in actuality, you probably might have two or 300 people watching. See what it is, you got people that's coming in that stand, you know, watching or whatever, whatever. And if they can get whatever value that you're talking about or whatever you're doing is exciting or entertainment or whatever, they'll come in, stop in for a little bit, you know, chop it up with you and all like that and and leave and that's count that counts as a view that counts towards your watch time you know so if you're interested in in cracking the youtube watch time go live stream all right go live stream try to try to get a topic you know something that's engaging because if you're gonna if you're gonna go live stream and you want to live stream for a long period of time, 
trust me, it has to be something engaging. People will try, people will funnel over to you. People would engage with you and all like that, especially in what you're doing. And your watch time will go up. You'll be able to, you'll be able to hit 4,000 watch time and any, and like that. Then you'll be able to monetize and then you'll be able to make, you know, make a little bit of scratch from YouTube. Same thing with Facebook. Now, unfortunately, Facebook is like the dinosaur of of social media now and a lot of people is kind of fading away from facebook that's why you see a lot of facebook commercials <laughs> okay because they know that they're losing face it's like customers when you have a facebook page you're a customer yeah and facebook knows that they're losing customers to other to other platforms that's why facebook is trying their best they, they doing live videos they doing that you can upload videos they doing live streams they got the facebook groups they got they got the camera groups they they doing so much to bring the customers back because they know that they losing their customers to platforms like TikTok platforms like snapchat well i don't even think snapchat is even in it it is a thing now is is snapchat is still a thing let me know in the this, let, me, let me let me know about snapchat in the comments below man let me know because i i got snapchat and i don't even use it at all the biggest platform that is owned by facebook so you guys know is instagram everybody fucks with instagram instagram the only difference with Instagram is that you had to upload some type of picture and then you can make your comment from there. You you won't be able to make a comment like you could do on Facebook and then try to upload it. You you got to you got to put a picture or a video that's associated with that comment and then you can upload it. Instagram, I I, I mess with Instagram. What I what I'm kind of hoping is is that Instagram opens up their platform to videos like how how youtube is if they if they open up their platform and maybe do a little well it, it's going to be kind of weird if you see an ad in instagram but if if you got that many followers and that many influence you know you know that you influence because that's what they call us now social media influencers i I don't consider myself an influence. I, I don't want to influence you into nothing. I just want you to take the information that I give, take the information that I that that I have, and run with it. If if you do that, if I'm able to help out one person or two, then my job is done. And this episode is done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This episode is done. I'm in the works with a whole bunch of good people. Um, I, I like. I, I, I'm beginning to. I'm, I'm beginning to take hold of this whole social media influencer helping out people thing. You know what I'm saying? You guys support the channel a lot by sharing, by subscribing, by sitting here listening to the information that I give you, by commenting and all that stuff, by donations and everything. You guys hook me up with coffee all the time and I really do appreciate it. And what I'm gonna start doing is giving some love back. So I am in the midst of talking to Mr. David Copeland uh, about uh, sponsor uh, sponsorship. I am talking to Nancy, uh, Nancy L. Collins. I'm talking to her about sponsorship, you know, to get their brands out to you guys as well. Um, I'm already, I'm already hooked up with Trucker's Path. And let's talk about Trucker's Path right quick. Trucker's Path. Yo, make sure you download Trucker's Path. It's in the, it's in the Google Play Store or your iOS on your iPhone. Well, 
on in the app store on your uh, iPhone. And when you download Trucker's Path, you can use Trucker's Path for a whole multitude of things. You can find out whether a truck stop that's near you, you can find out if truck parking is available in that truck stop, and you can find out how to get there with the new navigation, uh, with the new navigate truck navigator on Trucker's Path. In order to use Truck Navigator, you got to be registered and you got to be at least a gold tier or a diamond tier, um, a diamond tier in order to use the, uh, the, the, the truck navigation. Trucker's Path also for you owner operators, if you're looking for freight, Trucker's Path has a has a load board for you. So make sure you hook up with Trucker's Path. Make sure you download that app today. All right. On that note, this is Lockout Men, and this is the Lockout Men podcast show. I really do appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. You guys know what to do. Y'all know what to do. If you want to support the channel, you know what to do. You can hit that join button. Make sure you hit that join button. Three tiers, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Coffee, lunch, and dinner. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm in the process of trying to do more. You got to understand, I'm a truck driver, and I'm trying to give more than what I can for the people that's following me and that's, you know, that's really taking my content to heart. So until next time, everybody, you guys take it easy and I'll come back at you with another, another, another video. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, searching, searching.